So this is a, stop, a short stop. We are going to look at stop 5.2 and then 5.3. Uh, 5.2 is really a lunch stop. If you were in Spain, this is where you would stop and have lunch. And we're going to skip straight to stop 5.3 over here. Okay, so what we can do here is we... we um, We've moved further south, so that's more distally from where we're making our observations at the first at, at stop 5.1, the big panorama. Um, we're looking at the the youngest part of the Rhoda sandstone we can see in that panorama, so that belongs to the Rhoda Y sandstone body. Um, and what we want to do here is is make observations um, in, in a cliff face we can see across the river. Um, of features within that Rhoda Y sandstone body. And again, this, this might be worth making a, a quick sketch, um, depending on how we're doing for time. But we can certainly make good observations. So this is the view that we'll be looking at. Um, I'm going to draw now, essentially, the top of the Rhoda Y sandstone body coming through here. You'll see that the top, uh, the top couple of meters, two three meters of the road of Y sandstone body is a little bit more resistant. It's weathering out. We'll think about why that might be later on at a later stop. What I want you to do here is look at the attitude of the beds in the lower two thirds of the exposure we can see here off the road of Y sandstone body. Look at the geometry of those beds relative to the, the red line I've drawn at the top of the road of Y sandstone body. So if you can make some observations there, time permits, make a quick sketch and then we'll we'll discuss those as a group.